into our COVID-19 situation, let me report today on the results of the testing that we have done over the last 24 hours. We have tested 841 samples, out of which 28 have tested positive for coronavirus. This number is distributed as follows. Ten of these cases are from Mombasa, nine are from Kajiado, seven from Nairobi, and two from Wajir. This brings to 700 the total number of those who have tested positive. Of positive cases by estates is as follows. Mombasa, Mvita three, two each from Changamwe, Kisauni and Nyali, and one from Likoni. In Nairobi, the cases are from Kenyatta National Hospital, three, and Bakasi, two, and one each from Kibra and Pumwani. In Wajir, the cases are from Eldas and Tarbaj. On a positive note, we have discharged 12 people from hospital today. This now brings to 251, the total number of recoveries from COVID-19. We continue to thank our healthcare workers for these successes that they are registering in the recoveries that we are seeing. On a sad note, we have lost one patient in Nairobi. This now brings to 33, the total number of those who have succumbed to the disease. And we take this opportunity to send our heartfelt condolences to the bereaved families and friends. In order to enhance our communication, I want to inform you that the government has launched a WhatsApp BOT facility, which will contain basic information on COVID-19. The WhatsApp number is 011-071-9719. I'll repeat that WhatsApp number. It is 011-071-9719. This platform has an embedded simple self-diagnostic tool to provide information on COVID-19 as requested. I urge Kenyans to seek information and to use this platform. Yesterday, we informed you about Waziri. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, uh, Dr. Rashid and the Director General for Health and the team from the Ministry of Health. First of all, I want to thank uh, the Ministry of Health for collaborating with us in the Ministry of Tourism and the stakeholders this morning. This morning we held a meeting uh, between the private sector, the stakeholders from the Hotel Association of Hotel Keepers and Caterers, from uh, Pubs Entertainment Restaurant Association and the Retail Trade Association of Kenya, plus the Director General of Health and his team and my office. So we have agreed on the following, that it is the responsibility of every restaurant or Italy seeking to reopen to access the protocols as published by the Ministry of Health. So those pro protocols have not been revised. They are still the same, but they need to be followed. But also we have agreed every establishment will develop their standard operation, operational procedures which will be compliant to the protocols. We have also asked the associations in collaboration with their clients and their staff to adhere to the protocols laid down by the Ministry of Health. Because we don't want to burden the business committee, ours is to make sure that we stop the spread of the virus to the public, but also not to stop the economy. So we have agreed the cost of tasting 
For the businesses will be 1,000 Kenya shillings, and I want to thank the Ministry of Health because the actual cost of its of tasting costs up to 4,000 Kenya shillings, but we have subsidized as government because we want to support the